It's quiet. It's a university campus, but it's quiet. Yes, we're sitting here at the uh, historic University of Fort Hare in the Eastern Cape of South Africa. But that doesn't mean anything. It's quiet all over at the universities in Southern Africa or South Africa. I got to check with the with the African independence, see what's happening in other countries. This whole thing has to well, first started well, started a long time ago, which is fees must fall. But all the universities, some some universities just closed down, chapter sending people home. Even MMU, which has some sense, it was, it was reported that they were just doing a sympathy strike for about an hour, but they were going back to class because people got to write exams and stuff like that. But it seems like, you know, Rhodes University just done what they're supposed to be meeting right now. Uh, this is like a Wednesday morning. And when I say morning, I don't mean it's that early morning. This is like 10, 15 in the morning. That late morning. Uh, you know, all over, I mean, Vitz, uh, you know, uh, I don't know what's happening at the uh, University of Cape Town. Uh, Walter Sassou would have loved it. Everybody shut down. All this thing with fees must fall. Interestingly enough, I was talking to some people, because each campus has their own sort of issues or all sorts of dynamic, you know, uh, they want to raise the fees, similar to what happened in, uh, I guess it was in the, in the early 70s, late 60s, whatever it was, when, uh, yeah, late 60s, early 70s in, in the States, like especially, I'll, I'll talk about New York, when City College was free, but then they started, it, 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 it's all, well, you have to pay something. Now the fees keep on getting higher at State University. Then remember, Bernie Sanders wanted to uh, have tuition free for state colleges. But even before then, talk about it, again in the early 70s when McGovern was running for, for office. He wanted free this and that. You know, he was very, very progressive. But, but the forces came down. What forces are you talking about? We're talking about elite forces. Now, forget this Democrat Republican thing because they, they're supposed to be. In fact, I read an article, uh, Truth Dig, uh, Reverend Chris Hedges. You know, I read up, well, I check it with him weekly, so, you know, most of the time I agree with him, some a few times I say, like, ah, nah, come on, Chris. Uh, but he breaks it down, just, just we can food take, maybe I'll try to put the link in this thing here or something like that. Uh, but he breaks it down, you know, especially because when Ralph Nader came along, that's when things started, just late, late 60s. You know, so everything changed in the 70s, but Nixon and this gets on from there. Everything, every president then has been a continuum. Perhaps, I say, perhaps Carter was like a little blip for a second, but you know, from Reagan, certainly Reagan, everything's just a continuation. So if you think that, 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 uh, that basically uh, Bush, you know, Bush II, baby Bush, was the, he had the cabinet of his daddy, and then, you know, Barack Obama comes along and they say, oh, you know, blah, blah. no, he's just continuing. In fact, he's, he's advancing the, 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 the Bush protocols. And remember, remember what, what, what the brother the president said when he said, he said you, you have to force me like L, like FDR, you got to like Franklin Delano Road, you got to force me to do stuff. And people didn't force him, or they couldn't force him, or he wouldn't listen to the forces, because there's other forces, we call them the elite forces, that, that, are, that, that, that are making all this stuff happen. This is worldwide. Just, just know this is worldwide. You know, and what's happening is you have these middle people coming in. You know, this middle match. I saw it happen in, in, again in the early 70s when I was, when I was working as a lab technician at, at uh, what well, well, was Princeton Hospital at the time they changed it, you know, the, the, the uh, Princeton Medical Center. You know, I was a lab technician and I had an agreement with them. And then this administrator comes in, starts changing rules right in the middle of my agreement, you know. And then now be a little hospital right now, instead of like say five doctors used to be, five doctors used to be there and like, you know, like one administrator, now it's like, you know, three administrators and two doctors. This is what happened on university campuses too. You have all these administrators, these middle people with the outsource and whatever have you. They're getting the money. Meanwhile, professors, professionals, they're no nah, part time this, part time that. Go work in the go work in the you know the the, the, the burger line or whatever it is. So this is a serious thing. So this I mean this whole fees must fall. This is just an indication. This thing has got to be rolled back. And when you roll it back, you get rid of the elites. And when I say the elites, I really do mean the elites. You you, you can think there's some sort of difference between Hillary and, and Donald. The Hill and the Donald. No difference. They still run by the elites. They will still buy into that program. Come on now. Wake up. We know what the deal is. I'm not saying it has to be revolution, but it's got to be an overthrow of what's been happening for the last, since at least the 70s that I know of. At least the 70s that but I know of. And I know it's not going to take, it's going to take a while to roll it back, but not roll it back. It's got to be a while to smash it, destroy it, but otherwise you're going to hear crickets. Nothing happened. 
silence in the late morning. This is me, T, from the Patterson's taking a train to Tibet, letting you know what I want to suspect.